Hi guys, welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see about restoring a DB instance to a specified time. You can restore a DB instance to a specified point in time, creating a new DB instance. When you restore a DB instance to a point in time, you can choose the default VPC security group or apply a custom VPC security group to your DB instance. Restore DB instances are automatically associated with the default DP parameter on the option groups. However, you can apply a custom parameter group on the option group by specifying them during a restore. RDS uploads transaction logs for DB instances to Amazon S3 every five minutes. To see the latest restoreable time for each DB instance in the Amazon RDS console, choose automated backups. You can restore to any point in time within your backup retention period. To see the earliest restoreable time for each DB instance, choose automated backups in the Amazon RDS console. To restore a DB instance to a specified time, in the navigation panel, choose automated backups. In the automated backup pages for current region, choose the DB instance that you want to restore. For action, choose restore to point in time. In the restore to point in time page, choose the latest restoreable time. To restore the latest possible time, choose custom or to choose a time. If you choose the custom, enter the date and the time to which you want to restore the DB instance. Time are shown your local time zone, which is indicated by the offset from coordinated universal time. For example, UTC plus it is a IST time. I choose October 3, 4 p.m. IST time. Scroll down this page for DB instance identifier. Enter the name of the target restore DB instance. The name must be unique. The DB instance class, if you want to change the DB instance class, scroll down this page. In the storage section for auto scaling, disable storage auto scaling scroll down this page in the connectivity section public access choose yes then scroll on this page security group default it is selected custom security group so you can leave it as it is default for additional configurations if you want you can change the port number scroll down this page in the additional configuration sections in the database options for initial database name Enter the name of the target database name. Scroll down this page. Choose restore point in time. Now our target database is creating state. It will take some time to creating the DB instance. We need to wait for some time. Now our DB instance is created and it is in available state. For deleting a DB snapshot, you can refer next video in my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and refer to your friends.